You've heard of stuff like a quintillion or a sextillion or maybe even a septillion, right? Even a Google or a Googleplex, maybe even a millennialian. But what about the stuff in between those? How exactly do you know if the thing is something like, say, an untrigon to do centillion? And yes, by the way, that is a real number. The 231st alien, actually. Anyways, that's what this video is about, so let's get into it. So how this all actually works is relatively simple. To calculate the alien number, you take the amount of zeros, subtract 3 from it, and then divide the result by 3. If it ends in 0.333 repeating, it's a 10 before the alien, and if it's 0.666 repeating, it's a 100 before it. If you have 1 followed by 1000 zeros, all you do is subtract it by 3, which equals 197, and then divide by 3, which gives you 332.333 repeating. This means it's the 332nd alien with a 10 before it, so 10 do a trick into two centillion. Now to name these numbers, there's a giant list of prefixes and suffixes that exist, such as this one that I just made in Excel. But all you really have to do is combine the individual suffixes together like so. So for anything from the first to tenth alien, like million to decillion, it's actually pretty easy since you aren't combining anything yet. By the way, the aliens from 1 to 10 are million, billion, trillion, which basically everyone knows, quadrillion, quintillion, sextillion, septillion, octillion, non-alien, and decillion, which less people know. Beyond this is where you start needing some prefixes. This is the list of all of them, and all you do is you put them in front of the main alien thing. And actually, you have to work backwards for every single alien there is. So the smallest alien bit goes in front of the bigger one like so. If you want the 11th alien, you put undecillion, 1 plus 10. The 12th is duodecillion, 2 plus 10. And the 13th is tridecillion, or get this, 3 plus 10, and so on and so forth until the next barrier. Also, beyond the 10th alien, the non-bit just becomes Novem instead, and I have absolutely no idea why, but that's just how it is. So this barrier is the tens of aliens, which goes from decillion all the way to nonagontillion like so. This is where knowing how to properly combine things really comes into play. Take 10 to the 210 for example, which is the one with 210 zeros behind it. All you have to do is subtract 3 from it for 207, and then divide that by 3. This gives an answer of 69. Nice. Now how do we convert this to an alien? Well look at this chart. So in the tens of aliens row, in the 60 slot is sextagontillion. They just subtract 60 from the 69, which leaves you with 9. With 9 remaining, look at the chart again. It's non-alien, which becomes novem instead, because of prefixes. And uh, yeah. So how exactly do we combine these? Well, all you do is you drop the alien from the non-alien, change non to novem, as that's how it works for a non with anything above the 10th alien, and then you just slap it in front of the sextagontillion like this. Now you have a novem sextagontillion. Pretty easy, right? So as another example, what about the 41st alien? With this, it's the same thing. Look at the chart, find the 4 in the tens of aliens, so a quadrigantillion. And then, since we have 1 left, we just find that, which is the prefix un. So this leaves you with unquadrigantillion. That's relatively easy. So now how about we introduce the 100th and 1000th alien? This is the last example you'll likely need, as beyond this, it's the exact same as before it. The list of 100 aliens goes as follows. Centillion, Ducentillion, True Centillion, Quadrigentillion, Quingentillion, Sextagentillion, Septingentillion or Septuagentillion, Octingentillion, and finally, Novemgentillion. Now I assume you want to combine those, right? So let's try doing this with 10 to the 2771. So again, you subtract 3 to get 2768, and then you divide by 3. Your final answer is 922.666 repeating, which means it's the 922nd alien with a 100 in front. Looking at the chart in the 100 section, it's Novem Gentilian. Now, we have 22 left over, which in the 10th section is Vigentilian, and then finally, the last two, which is Duo. This means our final alien is ahem. <clears throat> Duo Vigente Novem Gentilian. And you just continue that cycle on and on forever until infinity. Also, as a side note, if you have something like the 501st alien or whatever, since there isn't really any alien for zero, you just leave it out entirely. So the 501st alien would just be an unquin Gentilian. 
or if it's the 510th alien, it would just be a Desi Quinn Gentilian, or if it's like the 511th alien, it would be an Undesi Quinn Gentilian. That's how that works. Now, because you know the structure of these, here's a list of aliens and what they are, so you aren't just Captain 999th alien. So a million alien is the 1,000th alien, a Myrillian is the 10,000th alien, a Desi Myrillian is the 100,000th alien, a Microlian is the 1 millionth alien, a Desi Microlian is the 10 millionth alien, a Sensi Microlian is the 100 millionth alien, a Nanillion is the billionth alien, a Pecillion is the trillionth alien, a Femtillion is the quadrillionth alien, an Attillion is the quintillionth alien, and finally, a Zeptillion, no that is not a Septillion, a Zeptillion with a Z, is the Sextillionth alien. And yes, there are higher aliens than this, but these should be really all you need. So yeah, there you have it. That's how to properly say big numbers as an alien. So anyways, I hope you guys learned a little bit of something from this, and yes, I do understand it breaks a little bit from like my normal style of breaking games and stuff, but I do have a couple people in the Googleology community watching my stuff now, and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to make a video on this stuff, because nobody ever has before. So uh, yeah, also thank you to my patrons for supporting me, you can go and support my Patreon in the link below if you want to do that, and then also thank you to this guy, I don't exactly remember who, for making this fan art. And, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Oh, mm, mm, also, also join the Discord server below. It's in the pinned comment, along with all the other stuff with sources and whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So, goodbye.